So for the DIY striper, uh, the other day I just laid it there and it looked like it was excessively low because I didn't have the right bolts. I did not want to cut into my deck. And there are three bolts or three bolt holes, carriage bolt holes that were naturally there. So I had to get small enough carriage bolts and work in life. So today is the first day where I can actually bolt this up. And now that it's bolted up, you see it's probably about an inch below the deck. And this angle iron that I got with the holes pre-cut into it, I think my problem is going to be, and I'm just guessing, I'll probably want it maybe a, an inch lower. It should still skim the tops of the blades of grass. Right now I have my deck up as high as possible and typically I cut in five. That's four. So typically I cut in level five and the bristle heads are definitely gonna be lower than the deck. But this is the maiden voyage to see how it works. Um, we'll see if it stripes. Let me see, the brooms were 16 bucks a piece. I took two brooms and cut the brooms in half. The angle iron was 16.99. And then the bolts, lag bolts were probably put lags. Everybody saw on YouTube, they actually put a nut and a bolt and drilled up. That may be what I need to do uh, because I may need to do a nut and bolt and put a spacer in between here to drop this down. We'll see. This is the first time I'm using it. But anyway, uh, two brooms at $16 a piece. Cut them in half. And the, the broom sticks, they're metal. So if you do anything outside, you know they break and they rust. So I'll definitely have those when I need them. But two brooms, $16 a piece. That's $32. Angle iron, uh, $16.99. Let's call that, let's call it even $50, uh, four or five dollars worth of lag bolts and uh, washers. And then to get those small uh, carriage bolts, uh, three twenty-eight. so call it another four dollars. So all in all, sixty dollars into a DIY striping kit, sixty dollars for a lesson learned. If it doesn't work, so what? $60 and it works. Oh, yeah. But again, I foresee if any problem, I want to drop this down by virtue of using spacers in between each of those bolts. And again, I'll be switching from uh, lag bolts to traditional bolt and nut so I can put spacers in there. And that's just to get a more defined stripe. But for right now, uh, Chad, I saw your comment about potentially uh, buildup of grass. We're going to see. And when I saw your comment, I kind of understood what you might have been saying because the original picture, I just had it leaning against here and it was like totally touching the ground. But it because, it's because it was not bolted up to where it's going to final be, which is here, unless again, I want it lower. So first cut, going to see if it worked. Idea from YouTube, DIY striper. We're going to see.